Let's talk Coachella Valley. Conrad Negron for CoachellaValley.com. Here we are today at the Indian Wells Rotary Club with Tracy Smith here. How are you, honey? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me. What's going on? Yeah. Well, we are very blessed because we're coming here today to talk about body code and motion code to the Rotary. And then it's a very, it's one of the most progressive preventative techniques of healing. And it allows you to release energy imbalances, trapped emotions, and it addresses everything from physical pains to different beliefs and thoughts that we have in our head. So we can align you, make sure that you're really ready to be healed. Because some of us get so familiar and stuck into our illness and chronic that we've had for such a long time that we really forget what it's like to feel healthy and to be healthy. Well, you know, it's really interesting. You came and you did some stuff with me as a start, mm -hmm. and I, I, th I think it really kind of made me feel better. I had a little bit more energy. Mm -hmm. um, I was really tired after you left because yeah, she beat me up bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the processing process uh -huh. where your body gets to realign so that your physical body releasing the energy and trapped emotions along with your energetic body that we all have around us. Tell me your background real quick. How did you get here? Uh, what did you study? What, uh, what got you here today? Um, I've been doing energy medicine for over 30 years and then just went from learning all about energy medicine to the physical anatomy into Pilates yoga rehabilitation, personal training, and then taking it into stretch therapy and incorporating the body, mind, and spirit, putting it all together. And then training neurological, linguistic, so reprogramming your mind, which will allow you to reprogram the body. And then neurokinetic energy where we can reprogram your muscles. So some of the muscles in the modification, whether your hip's been hurting or your knee's been hurting, start to turn off and other muscles are doing the work so we can get those refiring. I love it. Tracy, I'm looking forward to the talk. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to it, too. And thank you. Sheila Hampton's here today. How are you, Sheila? Wonderful. Thank you, Conrad. You're here at the Indian Wells Rotary. You and Tracy are going to talk together today. Tell us a little bit more about what you're going to talk about and uh, what we expect. Okay. The um, Body Code Emotion Code was developed by a, a dear friend of mine from Montana. And um, it's the most amazing technique known on the, on the face of this earth at this time. Okay, now I'm getting excited. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to be addressing the heart wall, which is simply what it says. Oftentimes, our emotions, our problems help us or, or help us to create a wall around our heart to protect it. Well, it's so much, I've been such a proponent of, you know, holistic measures and your mind can heal you along with all the other things. Uh, people need to accept that instead of using, you know, I'll just, because that hurts, I'll give you medication. Exactly. This is the most incredible technique that there is out there in energy, energy work and energy medicine. And we are honored to be here and talk about it and help change the world one person at a time. I love it. Sheila, thanks for coming aboard. Uh, this concludes another episode of Let's Talk Coachella Valley. Conrad Negron, your host. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Who here has or knows of somebody who has a hearing aid? Whether it's a hearing aid inserted or you even have it electrically inserted. Okay. Who here has been to the physical therapist and they put that little TANS unit on and stimulate the muscles? Okay. So your pacemaker, it is an electric pulse that is sending electricity to help keep the heart at a regular beat, keeping people alive, electric medicine. The medical device that's inserted in your spine, it sends electric to the electric single of your spine and it deadens pain, electric medicine. Hearing aid, it's electricity because the frequency comes in and it can balance it out or enhance it so you can hear it electric medicine. There's now a new device that is the top one that you put it on at night. So has anyone here experienced or know someone who experienced tenacity where you constantly have this ringing or, this, or it sounds like cricket? Again, it is electric medicine. So your electric is the same as energy and everything is energy. So with this therapy, and it's called emotion code, body code, Emotion code, it has a list of emotions that we go through, which I'll allow Anita to explain. And then with the body code, 
the blessing of Dr. Neil Bradley, who is the one that channeled this from God Divine. So before any treatment is done, there is always a prayer done. We kindly ask the individual, if you don't mind if we say it out loud or we say it within, and then ask for help as we continue on to go through it. So it's using energy to address the energy within you. It's also using energy to address the energy around you. So an example is when you're walking to DMV or somewhere and there's one seat left and you look at that person and you kind of go, I don't really feel comfortable to sit there, so you're comfortable just to sit right here or stand right here and wait. It's because their energy is coming out and your energy is coming out and it doesn't feel comfortable around you. It's like, have you had experience where someone comes into the room and you're going, oh, they're a little tense. Or have you had the experience where you've walked into the room? Whether it could be just right in the room where your spouse is and you know they're a little tense. Or it could be in the room where your children were when they were growing up. Think of the children, they were teenagers. And you went to go in and talk and you knew they were tense. You could feel that tension vibration that is coming from them. So with this, we just connect energetically to your energy and then allow your body to tell us what we're doing. So your emotions create so many different things. Do we know of anyone or do you know of anyone who's experienced whether it's been chest pain? What about hip pain? What about diabetes? Do you know anyone or yourself if you experienced loneliness, somewhat depression, or you know of a person who's still living in the past, not only just regrets, but they're living in their memories, so their memories are here, not back here where they should be, allowing them to go forward? Do you know of anyone who's having issues with weight? It's like they take it off, they look great, and then, oh, six months later it starts to come back on. So is it the belief in them that is allowing them to stay in? And then it gets into beliefs, do you believe that you deserve? Whether it's deserved to feel healthy, whether it's deserved to feel light, clean, fit, and healthy. Okay. So has anyone experienced anxiety? Have we experienced arthritis? Has anyone experienced issues with your autoimmune system? Has anyone been diagnosed with chronic anything? Whether they told you you have a chronic back pain, you have a chronic knee pain, a chronic hip pain. And have you noticed sometimes in your knee, has anyone ever been diagnosed your knee and they look at you and they go, oh, your knee's just aging. But yet, your other knee feels great, and aren't they just the same age? <laughs> So with the trapped emotions or energetic imbalances that are still in our body, they tend to go to the weak area of the body. And have we not seen a bird, when a bird hits the window, it falls down and it just shakes itself silly and then flies right back off? So it shakes that emotion that's been in it. Whereas humans, when the body starts to shake, we think they're going in shock. So we wrap a blanket around them and we prevent the body from shaking, releasing this energy. And then it gets stuck down inside. Or as we're growing up, men, you were specifically told stuff that don't show it. Women, we were told, put the big girl pants on and get out there. And so these emotions are here and they're causing us to respond from them. So if you know of someone that just tends to be very angry, and they tend to respond from those emotions. So that's why we're excited about this, because it is the most progressive, preventative, energetic healing out there. And then we're even more excited, as I showed you, that now National Stream, it's showing you that your emotions are affecting your health. They're affecting your well-being. They're affecting your behavior. And they're affecting your beliefs. So with this, technique, it addresses the whole body. Body, mind, soul, and your mental health. So I'll give you one of my case studies and then I'm going to hand it over to Sheila. 
I've worked with a young gentleman who is now 30 years old. When he was 22, he was diagnosed schizophrenic. His mother refused to put him in a home, so he lived in the home, but he would not sleep in his room. He would sleep on the couch. So for six years, he slept on the couch. I explained what the whole thing, I mean, the whole process, and he said, sure, I'll try it. That night, his mother called me in tears, and I'm like, is everything okay? She said, he's sleeping in his bed. It's been six years. So he is now sleeping in his bed. A young man who was afraid to go out, after a month and just a week session, he now is working on the computer. He asked his mom if she would take him to the store so he could be accustomed to being out around people and work on his social skills. He told his psychiatrist, we addressed the voices in the head and I said it was the committee. And he started to talk to a psychiatrist about the session and the psychiatrist after called his mother and said, that's the first time in six years he's talked to me. For six years I've seen him twice a week and he's never talked to me. So that's why we're so passionate as Tracy explained, we are energetic beings. And when emotions, good or bad, um, become trapped, they can create dis-ease or imbalances, pain, the, the list is endless. Dr. Bradley Nelson um, is a dear friend of mine now. We grew up in the same area in Montana, so we came from good, sturdy stock, because you've got to be able to with, withstand a lot when you live in 40 degree below zero weather. Um, and he is a man who knows God. He always explains that everything that he has learned and has been given has been through the, the power of inspiration and, and the grace of God. And I appreciate that. Um, as Tracy explained, trapped emotions can land anywhere in your body. They can land in your back. They can land in your shoulder. They can create imbalances or pain in the stomach. There is no, no set place that trapped emotions can reside. Anything can cause anything. But I'd like to speak just for a moment about the heart. Now the heart is the strongest and most powerful muscle in the body. It's the most powerful organ in the body. Our heart beats a thousand, it, it generates 60 to 1,000 times more power and electromagnetic energy than the brain, easily making it the strongest and most powerful um, organ in our bodies. Has anyone ever experienced love? Has anyone ever experienced heartache? <clears throat> Grief. All of these emotions tend to describe what goes on in our heart. When Tracy mentioned energy, um, energetic machines, you, you're all familiar with the EKG, you know, the electrocardiogram for the heart. A few years ago, they developed a machine that would actually measure the frequency around the heart, and it's called a magnet magnetocardiogram, <coughs> MCG. And these wonderful scientists realized that the heart, the energy around the heart, can be measured scientifically up at least 12 feet and beyond. So her, Tracy's description of when someone enters a room and they don't have good energy, you can feel that energetic um, resonance of, of their heart. When we have an emotion that hurts us, girlfriend in high school, you're ready to ask her to go to the junior prom, and all of a sudden she announces, oh, uh, 
I'm now in love with Jim. So there's that heartache. Sometimes we never get over that first heartache or heartbreak. So in order for that not to happen again, we start building a wall around our heart. Protection, kind of like a bunker. You protect yourself from being harmed again. And it's not just a heartache, but any kind of emotion that attacks us will, our, our heart will put up this protective barrier and Dr. Bradley Nelson has pointed a heart wall. By releasing that heart wall, a person can experience love, both giving and receiving. They can experience more joy and happiness than they have ever felt. Some people go through their entire lives with this gigantic heart wall around their heart and they try desperately to connect with people, but because there is this gigantic wall that blocks love from coming in or them giving love, they live a very um, unhappy life, very unfulfilling. So by using the wonderful technique that Brandon Nelson has, has devised and was inspired to receive, with the energy work that Tracy and I have been trained to do, we can release trapped emotions. We can we can actually help to help you to to tear down the heart wall that um, that we all have. The scientific information on this is 93% of all of us have some form of a heart wall or another. So we are honored to be here in your presence. We are excited about the the energy work that we are doing and we would love to share with you. Um, if you'd like to contact us after, at the end here, um, we have a little flyer that we can give you and if you want to sign up, we are offering a free 20 minute um, over the phone session and we can address any imbalances that you might have, any trapped emotions, or we can just chit chat, get to know you wonderful people. It's been an honor to be here.